Hey everybody, this video brings me and Mike back out to Fenty's Flea Market, which of course means we're here to check out and look at this, the video game movie dome. I'm, I'm loving it, yeah. Looks like uh, Pamela's got some um, some advertising going on, going on on her car. I, I like that. Yeah. And of course I'm here to trade in a whole boatload more movies. This is almost it. I have just a, like a tiny little stack that didn't fit in here of things to trade in yet, but um, this is almost all of my trade-ins. With that being said, I'm sure by next week I'll come across more stuff I'm gonna trade in, but still, regardless, gonna trade this in. I think she has some stuff on hold for me. Maybe I'll pick up some other stuff. I have no idea, but um, I I had to lift this into the car. It weighs about 475,000 pounds. I went with a larger tub this, yes, this week. Yes, yeah, it's gonna be insane, but worth it, because I, I like movies that I get for store credit. Let's go inside. Oh, all right, so now that I'm completely winded and out of breath from carrying that, I can barely say it, but I will say it. Pamela! All right, guys, so we're here at the video game movie dome. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna sit down, catch my breath for a second. I need to exercise more, and then I'll look to the movies. This is why I love Pamela. She just came up with the greatest idea. She says, well, why don't you guys go get a hot dog and sit down, get something to drink, get re-energized, while I go through the 475 million movies you brought me. That's a good idea, so you have fun. We're gonna go get some hot dogs. This is also a really good idea because for the past two weeks, the hot dog stand has been closed. I've been craving a delicious Fences flea market hot dog. In fact, um, we just walked past the uh, owner and he's like, ah, oh, you can get your hot dog today. Oh, they, they know me here. They know the reason I come out here is to go to the video game movie dome and to get a hot dog. And I've, I've, I've got to get a hot dog. Ooh, maybe, maybe today two hot dogs? Maybe two hot dogs. Oh, I'm hungry. Pardon me why I salivate. I've been, I've been just craving these hot dogs for the last two weeks and ah. Uh, <laughs> Worth the wait, but I still wish I would have had hot dogs the last two weeks. All right, stomachs are all nice and full of hot dogs now, and it's time to get back to our regularly scheduled thrifting program to see um, what exactly it is we want from the video game movie dome. I know Pam has some stuff on hold for me, so that's probably a good chunk of my store credit going there, but who knows what else she got in. I mean, I gotta, of course, go through the the cases here. I'm seeing things like Bob's Burgers, which you might have on hold for me, and I don't know. Do you have Do you have like new stuff in the other case as well? Yep. All right, yeah, I'm gonna have to go through that as well. I guess the second time I want to say as well. I I'm tired. I can't. I'm, I'm mumbling at this point. As well, as well, as well, as well. I'm gonna go through all the stuff. I, you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna sit again. Well, it's a good thing I mentioned Bob's Burgers because she's like, oh, I'm gonna put one of those on hold for you, and she never did. Oh my gosh. I bring you so many different new clients and you can't even remember to put Bob's, the Bob's Burger movie on hold for me. Tisk, tisk, tisk. No, that's cool though. So definitely grabbing this. I gotta be honest though, I've never seen the TV show. I've seen like, I think, I think I've seen like an episode of the TV show. I like the episode I saw. I know it's really popular. I hear the movie's not so great though, but regardless, I don't know. I, I got the entire series or at least most of the series on DVD. I've got to get the uh, the movie as well. So I don't know if you guys like this movie, leave a comment down below, but either way, I'm picking it up. All right, so what does Pamela have on hold for me here? She's got some um, Night Hunters, because of course I'm buying more anime. I know, comments down below, say what you got to say. Uh, also picking up um, School Rumble 1 and 2, which is Fate Stay Night. I have no idea, it's just more anime I know I don't need. Um, Moon Phase 1, 2, 3, and 4. I, I mean, it, it looks interesting. Chob, Chob it? Chobbits, I think. I have no idea. I, I have one and three at home. I don't have two yet. And then a whole bunch of Blu-rays here. Finally, stuff you guys can get excited about. Blu-ray. So, picking up Glory, which I want to say I have, I think, in a multi-feature set. Vertical Limit, which I think I also have in a multi-feature set. Backdraft 2, which I don't have at all yet. I'm not holding my breath on this one. I'm only picking this up because I was a big fan of Backdraft back when it came out back in the 90s. I, I was intrigued when I heard they were doing a sequel. I, I don't know. I haven't really heard anything. Good, bad. Comments down below. I want to check that out. This is probably the coolest thing I'm grabbing, though. Finally picking up Newsies on Blu-ray. I am a huge fan of this, this musical, this Disney musical starring Christian Bale. This is, this is Batman before he was Batman. He used to jump around the streets singing about Santa Fe. I Oh, my gosh. I love this movie so much. Very happy to have it in high definition now. Raise the Titanic. This is a... Uh, who put this one out? Shout? Yeah, Shout Factory release. Don't have that movie yet. That's cool. Air Force One, I think also I have in a set maybe, and Pebble and the Penguin, which I think I have in a DVD set, so that's an upgrade and uh, also splitting up a set. So, all right, some awesome Blu-rays, a bunch of anime, I know, some Bob's Burgers. I'm grabbing some cool stuff, and I'm gonna have no store credit soon. 
And Mike's got something on hold as well. Come Picking on, up man. some, ooh, some Ghost Rider Spirits of yeah. Vengeance, the sequel. And nice. You just need that for... Just for, I, I like... I well, that's right. You're a big goat. Yeah. I forgot. So Sharks, Monsters, Ghost Rider. Go, Ghost Rider. You just click a little bit of everything. I forgot there's that you're a big two, Ghost Rider hand. Yes, yeah, that's true. That, that's cool. I hear there's a rumor they're going to do a new Ghost Rider movie. Yeah. Not Nicolas Cage, obviously a whole new spin-off, not spin-off, a whole new um, reboot mm -hmm. thing of Ghost Rider, which, which could so be cool. Are, yeah. You excited about that? Oh, yeah. All right, it's awesome. So, so Ghost Rider for you, one thing for you, and too much stuff for me. So Pamela just informed us that everything inside this box right here is all new stuff that just recently came in and I'm looking through it all now. Not seeing a whole lot of stuff in here I need. I wanna say I pretty much have all of this with the exception of these two titles here. So picking up The Godfather Coda, The Death of Michael um, Corleone. Corley I'm, I'm saying that wrong, right? Anyway, this is um, Godfather 3 just redone. Kind of a definitive director's cut, if you will, of the movie. So that's pretty cool. Picking that up, I don't have that. And I'm also grabbing Heat, which I only have on DVD. This here being the uh, director's definitive edition. So that's pretty awesome. That's, that's, an, that's an upgrade as well. All right. Not, not a lot in there I need, but at least I'm picking up two things and one thing I can't pronounce the, the name of, unfortunately. This is kind of tempting. Uh, Pamela has the Mad Max Scream Factory release, which is pretty cool. I just had the standard Blu-ray release, which I think probably doesn't have much in the way of special features on it. This thing here is kind of like loaded with them. I, I like Mad Max. I'm not some like huge diehard Mad Max fan. I'm just your, your average Mad Max fan. So I don't know. Do I really need to be upgrading my um, my other Blu-ray for, for this Blu-ray for the basically special features alone. Kind of, right? I I have I, I have the store credit. Should I do it? Should... Use it. All right, fine. I'll pick this up. She's only asking 12 bucks for it. Whatever, more store credit. Down the drain. And now we're moving over into the um, newer section here of the video game movie dome, which just is insanely loaded with movies. Probably my fault. I wouldn't be surprised if... Um, a good chunk of this is stuff I've recently traded in. But as you can see, there are just boxes and boxes and boxes of movies here. So I recommend getting out here and diving through all these before somebody else does. I'm over here, of course, to check out uh, what she's got here in the case because she did say she got some new stuff in. I don't necessarily see right off the bat anything I need to pick up, but who knows? Maybe there's something good in here that I, I do actually need for my collection. Either way, though, I'm, I'm going to look through all these and I'm tempted to look through all the rest of this as well. All right, so after I'm um, going through everything inside that case, or I think there's actually only one title I need to pick up, and that is Dirty Little Billy. Look at that. Billy the Punk, or sorry, Bill, Billy the Kid was a, Billy the Punk was a kid. Billy the Kid was a punk, and Cinema of the Sickness was dyslexic, but that is pretty awesome. 20 bucks for this, so brand new factory seal. This is a Columbia TriStar DVD R release, so basically Columbia TriStar's version of the Warner Archive program. I've never seen this, but I'm a good, big fan of, uh, a good, big fan. It's been a really long day. I'm very tired. I, I, I'm a big fan of Westerns. I hear this is kind of like a stylized sort of spaghetti, like a, I don't know, like a, like a dark spaghetti Western. It sounds interesting. I don't know. I'm intrigued. I love a good Western. It's 20 bucks. It's brand new. I'm going to go home and sleep, but first I'm going to pick this up. It's going to take me probably a good seven years, but I'm still in the process of going through every single one of my titles and recataloging everything now that I've done the great library purge. I'm just stuck with the stuck with it. That, that sounds bad to say. Now that I, I have an amazing collection of the things that I really, really want to have within my collection. Unfortunately, though, since I am still in the process of going through all those and recataloging all, recataloging all them, I'm not entirely sure what it is I need to um, replace from DVD to Blu-ray. I know there's, I know some things, some things are on that list, but there's a lot of stuff that I have on DVD that I just, I don't know about. So I, I, I don't know. For right now, I'm, I'm still just going through all this, trying to figure out maybe what it is I, I need to upgrade, but it's going to be a while yet till I know everything I have to upgrade. But when I do, <laughs> I'm going to be spending a lot of money here. So uh, Pamela, you got to tell us how have those VHS tapes been going for you. Have you actually sold any of them? Have they been... Have they been flying off the shelves? I have sold a few. Have you now? You sold some of those VHS tapes. Wasn't there like a time when you were like, I don't want to get VHS tapes in. I'm, I'm not good. I'm not doing VHS. Those were accidental. And then like somebody was like, you know, you should probably do. You should probably start getting in VHS tapes. And then you did. And you started selling them. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Comments down below. We need a whole new wing. I, I'm thinking like you should just take over that wing over there or maybe like take over this story here nothing but the vhs nook of the video game movie dome i'm thinking you can, 
You can put VHS, beta, laserdisc, CDs, all your like weird, all like a, like well not a weird format, but like an like an out of date format, like like wing of the of the store. Let's make it happen. I, I can see it right now. She can take over that. I'll come here. I'll come. I'll come over. I'll help you build like a roof onto this place and a doorway. We can make it a whole like big room. We can get some air conditioning going in here. When when that place gets really hot and they have to close down early, you can be like, no, no, no. I got AC. I'm staying open. The only place in here you can make a million dollars. See, I got all the big ideas. The comments down below. Seriously, hashtag VHS Nook. We want to see it happen, man. All right, these are pretty amazing. I have to just show these off. And you said that I actually looked right past these the other week. Did I film them? No, I'm not too far. Or I was just looking no, no, through. You were here. Okay, so apparently I was here the other week, and I I don't know how, but I completely missed over these really awesome like UK releases of the um, Marvel Cinematic Universe phases. Look at these phase one, two, three, and sorry, we went we one, two, three, and three. I part two of part one. Oh yes, I'm and perfect. There we go. Part one, part two of of, of uh, phase three. These are really cool sets. I don't know how I missed over these. I mean, I don't need these. I already have every single one of these movies. And I actually have the the uh, phase one and two, like, American sets. One of the, I remember one's, like, a briefcase. The other one I... Do you know what the other one is? One's a briefcase. One's something else. I honestly forget at this point. But um, I already have those. So technically, don't need these. But, man, these are awesome. Somebody has these on hold. So whoever that is, congratulations on some good pickups. These are amazing. Are they region-free? Yeah. Oh, that is so awesome. Only downfall is they don't come with the 3D releases. The uh, the American ones did. That's still really awesome, though. Yeah, oh, it's got like, a poster inside and everything. Wow. Yeah, that's really cool. These are awesome. I don't know. I just had to show these off. This is the kind of stuff Pam gets in at the Video Game Movie Dome. This is why I love this store, because where else are you going to see this stuff? Like, I mean, unless, you're, unless you live in the UK. Where are you going to see this? Nowhere. But Pamela, she's got them. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for the Video Game Movie Dome. Picking up a whole bag full of goodies here. You're grabbing some, some Spirit of Vengeance. And Pamela's just getting in all the amazing stuff. So as always, guys, definitely check down below for a link. I'll put a link to your YouTube channel, but I'll also put a link to her Facebook page as well. Again, if you guys are looking for something, hit up Pam. She, I mean, come on. She gets some amazing things like UK releases. I always say, if you're looking for something, Pamela is like the, the guru of finding things. She can like find anything you're looking for and she ships as well. So definitely hit her up. Let her know what you're looking for. She may already have it or she might get it in and then she can ship it to you. But um, that's going to do it. So, all right, guys, as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And of course, check down below for links to Patreon, Spreadshirt, and the Cinema Sickness store. It came from Cinema Sickness. Also check down below for links to my other channel, What's With Day Today for fun daily adventures. And check down below for a link to... Sharks and Monsters fan on Instagram. And also check down below for a link to, again, Pamela's stuff as well. So, all right. Thank you, Pam, for everything. Right, I'll see you guys next video. Have a good one, guys. Bye.